Recounting his personal story and stories of his people, Prime Minister Skerritt says there was nowhere to run and nowhere to hide as a deadly force of Hurricane Maria lashed out at Dominica. He says with the help of two officers, he had to maneuver a mattress over his head for shelter as his roof was ripped off his home. A traumatic experience, he said, and what the wind did not take, the waters occupied. Now, as Dominica tries to recoup, one urgent need is that of shelter, as many have no place to sleep. We need a lot of um, tarpaulins and um, supplies. It's, it's a difficult, it's, it's really an extraordinarily difficult uh, moment for Prime Minister Scarry. Water for the people, um, food supplies, um, tarpaulins, some blankets, um, urgently. Prime Minister Skerritt says it is a miracle that hundreds of lives were not lost. This he attributes to the people heeding his early warning to take the hurricane seriously. Fortunately, gotten a lot of people to take the hurricane seriously uh, because we are, we are on the air constantly pleading and beseeching people, let us take this hurricane seriously. Um, fortunately for, for, for the majority population, they did. So they went into shelters. Yes. And the shelters in, in the vulnerable communities uh, survived because they had concrete roofs at the sco some schools and, and um, public and private buildings. So most of the shelters, or a number of them survived, um, though there was some flooding and so forth, but they were not exposed to the elements um, in any severe manner. Um, every country, every part of the country, either 95 percent or 99 percent or 85 percent or 80 percent, Everywhere in Dominica has received a serious beating. Every part. If, you were not, if it was not by the wind, it was by a uh, river and uh, river coming to your homes and siltation, um, submerging your homes. Uh, every part of the country, whether it is the upper middle class, or the middle class, or the working class communities, there were, there were no classes as far as the hurricane is concerned. The Dominican leader was asked what lessons he wants the world to take away from Dominica. While U.S. President Trump may scoff at his response, Skerritt says the issue of climate change must be addressed. Originally, no intention of going to the United Nations, but I have decided to go. So I'll be traveling to New York tomorrow to address the United Nations General Assembly, uh, to speak to the international community, to have meetings with the U.N. Secretary General, uh, to outline um, uh, Dominica's situation and how we believe the international community could assist us. So, currently, you know, we have to wait for Irma and Maria uh, to let the world understand what we've been saying to them for a long time, that we're very vulnerable. Uh, we're exposed to the, to, the, to the ravages of climate change and um, we need access to resources to build more resilient societies and countries. Uh, we, we have been playing our part, but we, the extent of the resources required uh, to put in the mitigation systems is beyond us. He is calling on all nations, small and large, including Dominicans in the diaspora, to join hands and extend help to the people of Dominica. Joseph McKee-Smith, GBN News.